Oh, the Cowboys official Twitter account. Woo! Gentlemen, it is garnering some attention, especially oh. yesterday. They tweeted out an article to the Cowboys lost to the Niners with the caption that reads, Dak Prescott gave away the ball twice in the narrow loss to the 49ers in a matchup the Cowboys had a chance to win if they didn't again generate self-inflicted wounds. Sounds very damning. Shannon, what's going on here? What's going on here? I got a huge problem with this. Skip, this is some bull jive. Wait, what? At first, Skip, this is a team official account. Now, at first, I thought they were hacked. I said, somebody hacked this account. And then I looked, and it's still up. So clearly, it wasn't. It hasn't been hacked. This came from an, a, a team official that runs their social media account and thought it was OK to throw Dak Prescott under the bus. Now, Skip, we're very, this is what we do know. Teams are very, very conscious not to throw their superstars under the bus, especially from their team account. Mm. The Lakers, when they lose a game last year, they never put Anthony Davis or LeBron James' picture up during the loss. Tampa, they lost last week. There was no picture. There was a picture of Mike Evans. There was a picture of Todd Bowles. But there was no picture of Tom Brady. Teams are very, very, I can assure you, when the Chiefs lose, there's not a picture going up of Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. That's normally the way it goes. Yeah. So basically, you're throwing Dak Prescott under the bus. You're saying, the reason we lost this game was because Dak Prescott threw two interceptions. Mm -hmm. You could have easily taken the high road. We turned the ball over. You didn't have to mention Dak's name. We turned the ball over, Skip. I'm waiting for the ratings to come out. I can assure you, how many millions of people oh. think 35, 40? Let's go conservative. Let's say 40. 40 million people watch this game. If you say we turned the cow, we turned the ball over twice, mm -hmm. everybody that watched the game know who you're talking about. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> but to throw him <laughs> under the bus yep. to this level, to this magnitude, Skip, that employee should be fired if he hasn't been already. Mm. I'm surprised, very, very surprised, because team social media account is very, is very cognizant of what's being put out on that page. Mm. We've seen time, uh, uh, someone has said something from a, 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 an official account, be it Wendy's, be it Chick-fil-A or whatever. You're responsible for that. Yeah. Skip, that's bad. Mm. this is a bad look, Skip. This is really, really, really bad look. I just, I'm disappointed. I know Dak played well. I know there are a lot of people I see, Cowboy fans, busting up their TVs and throwing. Ain't nothing wrong with your TV. It's your team. Mm. That's what you need to throw out. Well, there you go. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, your TV is just fine. There's nothing wrong with your TV. Yeah. You're going to have to go out and get another one because you busted the one that you had when you were watching the game. But, Skip, this is some bull jive. This is some straight bull jive. This is unacceptable. Mm. And I don't know who the employee is. Hell, it might be, might be a family member, <laughs> Jerry Jones. But whomever it is, Skip, they probably should lose their job over this situation. Skip, that's some bull job. Man, you can't do that, Skip. Mm. That, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I know you're disappointed that you lost. Mm -hmm. But... That's still the quarterback of your team. You wouldn't do that, Skip. Forget, you know, Dak Prescott. I don't believe you do that to a lesser tier quarterback. Yeah. You, you're not, that's, not, that's not the way you do business, Skip. I think someone's going to probably lose their job over okay. this. Okay. To your point, and as a quick aside, we here in L.A. watch the Lakers on the local telecast, and then it goes to the great James Worthy after the game for commentary. And every night I sit there after they lose, and LeBron's like one for eight from three with six turnovers. And I'm like, well, we'll just at least acknowledge that. <laughs> but they're not going to, to your point, because they're not going to. Right, exactly. Because it is a team telecast. Right. Okay. Luka can have 15 turnovers. <laughs> they're not mentioning no. him for the Mavericks. No, and I watch a lot of those on, yeah, yeah. on the package. Right. Yeah. They're just not going to do it, except here. All right. This website does have a reputation for being, if I dare say, pretty objective after a Cowboy loss. Jerry gives them carte blanche to, to at least be gently, mildly critical and has for years. And even back in my days of covering the Cowboys, trust me on this. He, he did not like a lot of things that I wrote, especially in my books about the Dallas Cowboys. But when he would be asked about it, he would always say something like, and I'm going to just paraphrase the quote, when Skip writes, it's always something significant. So he would give me the break like it, it, it's going to carry some weight. So I'm going to I'm going to be open minded to right. it, even if I don't well, like it. Okay. OK. All right. So that's Jerry's been that's his attitude about publicity, because He's of the school of any publicity is good publicity because they just love publicity. Correct. All right, so back to this. I hear what you're saying. 
it's pretty shocking as the NFL norm goes when it comes to these websites that they would go this far. This, this is an excerpt, a couple of lines from, from a, a bigger story that you can't open off these websites, right. but, but they're teasing the story for you to go to the website right. to, to read right. the rest of the right. story. Right. And it's, it's an objective story that also has a lot of good things in it about what happened in the game. All right. I don't know the inner workings there. I used to know them, but it's been a long time since I've been there. So to your point, could a family member or a close family friend be sort of in charge of this? It's possible. possible. Okay, I'm going to go one step farther with you. Is it possible that Jerry made it clear after the game that it's now open season on Dak? It's possible. Yeah. Because I'm going to quote the great Shannon Sharp here. You have told me again and again, you told me on Friday, the body of work, we're, we're seven years in now, <laughs> and you keep telling me he is middle of the pack yeah. Dak. Yeah, the sample size. Now you, you, you give me that sample size. Yes. It was you that gave me the sample size. That is correct. But it's a big, broad sample size. We got yes. lots of got information. We got seven years. We've got, what, six playoff games. Yes. In. Okay, so we, we get all that, and Jerry got it right between the eyes, and he kept saying, using the word sick after the game. Yeah, seven times. I, I think he was heart sick, as, as was I, because I think the gravity of the situation had avalanched on his psyche where he's saying, man, I'm not getting any younger here. No, he's about to be 81, That's I think, correct. next November. That is correct. But can you believe, Skip, not to cut you off, yeah. do you realize the last time Jerry Jones won a Super Bowl? He was in his 50s. He's bypassed his 60s. He's bypassed his 70s. Yeah. Now he's in his 80s, and he's looking at it like, I don't know if I'm going to be around in my damn 90s. I know, because I met him when he was 49 years of age when he had just come from nowhere to buy the Dallas <laughs> okay. Cowboys. He was 49. He looked like a young, strong bull of a man. He was my age. Yeah. I'm 54. Jay was 54 when he won his first Super Bowl. There you go. And you got a lot of years ahead of him. <laughs> I like to think I and give all me 20 of a sudden, films, Jerry's looking at his mortality, mortality. Right, right in the mirror. He's looking at his mortality. Once upon a time, he used to get kidded about it. He had a little facelift, and now it doesn't look so great anymore because time marches on. Yeah. And here we are, and here he is, and he's like, God, I'd write any size of check to win another Super Bowl, and I thought I had one here. I thought they had one here. Right. I, I thought this team had the kind of firepower, and, and that's what – that's what is just tearing me apart. I'm still very raw from it, so I'm not <laughs> in the best place to talk about this because – the more I think about what happened at San Francisco, trust me, the worse it gets. Yeah, because, your ex Skip, your expectations were here last year, yeah, and, and now they were here this here. year. They so the greater expectation, the greater the disappointment, and the hurt is after you don't meet said expectations. Okay. My defense, I think you would agree, played well enough yeah. to win the football oh, game. 19 points. Is that 19 me? points should give you a chance to win yeah. the football game against a rookie quarterback, obviously, in his, what was that, his seventh start. Yes. Obviously, we got a terrible break with Tony Pollard going down mm -hmm. the second quarter. God bless him. I hope he can rally and fight back quickly. And obviously, we had a kicker issue, but it didn't really manifest itself nope. through the rest of the game because I kept telling you, he hasn't been missing field goals, only extra points. Right. So you can't use that as an excuse or but, an out. But you, I, I, can, I can imagine what was going through your mind when that PAT was blocked. Well, I, you I, like, I, oh, here I, we go again. Here, here we go again. <laughs> but we... We navigated you it. You did? You did. And, and he made the two field goals. So, so it. unfortunately, I, I'll, I'll say this. The more I looked at the Trevon Diggs dropped interception, it's, it's a killer play because yeah. it comes at near the end of the third quarter. It's 9-9. to nine. Right. We went to the fourth quarter, 9-9. Nine to nine. You're right. But it, it's a deflection that hits him right in the hands. He's the best ball hawk in the secondary, a former receiver. Yes. Went to Alabama to play receiver. Right. It hits him right in the hands. It hit him fast. It right. came out of nowhere. It was redirected. I, I get all that. But but if anybody in my secondary, if I could pick somebody to catch that ball, I would yeah. pick Diggs, yeah, right? I agree. And and it hit him so right in the hands, and he just muffed it and fumbled it and, and couldn't come up right. with it. Well, if you hang on, you, you cancel their seven points that they took the lead with, right? Yes. And all of a sudden, the momentum swings wildly back to Dallas because the kid finally made a mistake. Right. And here we come, and there they go. And, and who knows what happens from that mm -hmm. point on. But in the end, you know and I know, it was your first words out of your mouth yesterday, which you punished me with. <laughs> but, but the point is, it just unfortunately came down to rain Dakota Prescott. Yeah. It's number four or bust, and you have to make one play. And he couldn't make one play. No. Seriously, mm -mm. one play. So just to drive home the gravity of my pain here today and where I'm about to go with this, 
Could we just quickly show everybody in case somebody missed some of this? I, I think nobody in the known world missed any of this, but let's just bang through these plays quickly just to show this is the first interception. And that gives them three points. Well, yeah, you look at it. That gives be, them three points. Can't be late. Here's the second interception. The second and two at the 18. This cancels out at least three for us, maybe seven. And then here's the throw to CD. That he he is so he is so run by he is so open that 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 could have been three or seven. And then CD's got a step. And if you get that ball out where he can yeah. run to it, that could be three or seven. And then. Finally, this is to Gallup, and he's so – he's gone, mm -hmm. open. He might still be running with it. Let's do three or seven. Okay, so he, here's what I did. I, I'm going to do – of those five plays, I'm going to do – there was a maximum points that could have been scored off those five plays of 24 points. I right. know I'm going to the max if, okay. if you, you hit the lottery right. on every one of those okay. throws. But a minimum point scored on those – uncashed plays was 12 points. Correct. Well, the final score was, as you know, uh, 19 Maybe to 12. 12. So, so you give them, that would have been 24 to 19 right, right. there. Right. So th those are cashable points, and I believe Maher can make those mid-range sort of field goals. Right. My point is it came down to the quarterback. My point is that you and I have gone back and forth, back and forth. Is he good enough to win a Super Bowl? You or said yeah. Well, well, I had to because I have no choice <laughs> until this moment right now because the, the flip side of it is, is he just never going to be anything more than middle of the pack Dak who will always tease you into believing he can go farther than he can carry them? Is his ceiling maybe one playoff game a year here and there like every other year? Is yeah. that his ceiling? Well, yes. I think, here's the thing, what I think, Skip. How about we find a way to be in between where he was Sunday and against Washington? as opposed to where he was against Tampa. Can we get somewhere in between yeah. that? Because because the thing is, is that his high is incredibly high. You look at what he did against Tampa. You said a 97 QBR, over 300 yards, three touchdowns. He played a flawless game. And then he comes back. Bruh, we don't need you to replicate that again, but you can't go to the bottom of the sea. No. And, that's, and that is the problem with a lot of quarterbacks. The really great quarterbacks, Skip, they can manage the low. They're not going to always be 325, three touchdowns. Yep. But they're able to – they're not going to give you three interceptions, two interceptions, a pick six, or things like that. You have to be able to manage the low. And right now, I don't think Dak has found a way to manage his low because when he steps off the cliff – I agree. So what you're saying is – his ceiling is actually an edge of the top 10 quarterback. Yes. But his floor yes. is actually a bottom 10 quarterback yes. because when he goes yes. south, he just goes yes. south. Yes. I think Skip Sunday, the 12th best quarterback in the, in, the, in the league, wins that game. Okay. I told you, Cooper Rush wins that game just because he plays more clean football, more efficient capable football where he makes the play when it presents itself. Well, you're not going to get that throw to CD down the sideline because I don't think he got the arm to okay. get it there. I, I think his arm is better than you're giving it credit for. You think for. so? Boy, he threw some big balls at, at New York on Monday Night Football to CD. CD dropped one of them. Skip, that, was 50, that was like what, a 50 yard okay. that he hit CD with, okay. right? Okay, I, I got it. But my bottom line, my conclusion, my, my devastated conclusion is that, that Dak will always tease you yeah. without ever rewarding your patience in right. that, that this is it. This is who he is. But you've been preaching that from day right. one. I kept trying to make a fourth rounder into the fourth overall pick right. because every once in a while he could give you those. Right. This year he gave you the Bears game. He gave you the Vikings game. He gave you the Eagles right. game. And he gave you at Bucks and at right. Brady game. Right. He gave you four. And he also led the league in interceptions in only 12 games. It's, it's hard to do, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It's very hard okay? to do. So who is he? He, he's not who we need going forward. <laughs> so to me, I think Jerry was so distraught after the game because it, he realized Dak Prescott is not the answer. He has defended him to the death. He's saying that turnovers are not in his DNA. And he even said after the game, he tried to make the statement, I really thought we could go places in this tournament with yeah. Dak as our quarterback. Yeah. Well, I think he also realized going home after the game on the flight home, this just this ain't the solution right. here. We need to do something dramatic because the clock is ticking on Jerry Jones. Yes. So to me, I think Dak should be on the trading block. And and the only I've gone back and forth with wow. people about this, but we're going to talk about this story a little later. 
Aaron Rodgers is on the trading block. And I'm telling you right here, right now, if you could do it, maybe I'm playing fantasy football. You want Aaron Rodgers on the Cowboys? I don't think so. I don't, listen, I'm not playing fantasy football here because the deals are pretty similar over the next two years. Their cap hits are about the same. Aaron's owed about $100 million, where Dak's cap hits over the next two years is $100 million. He's not worth it. You could also argue back to me that Aaron's not worth it at age 39 and 40, but I will tell you this. Is he not the ultimate cowboy killer? Yeah. He is 8-2 and two lifetime against the Cowboys and 2-0 and oh in the but playoffs. But then he might kill you once he get there. Okay, kill he you might. from within. Okay, but I, I would, <laughs> listen, just... I have to do year by year. Okay. If you told me right here, right now, with whatever team I have coming back, probably lose Dan Quinn as the coordinator. If you told me I could have Aaron Rodgers next year or Dak Prescott, I'm going Aaron Rodgers because, as you always tell me, he is a transcendent thrower of the yeah. football. He's also a big blame-deflecting, finger-pointing diva. What about but, come playoff time? You still okay, want him? Okay, listen. Do I want Dak Prescott? I, <laughs> no. No, I don't. I'll take Aaron Rodgers at least – he won a long ago, far away yeah. Super Bowl. You right? remember that? I do. Well, okay. Mike McCarthy, would he <laughs> love to reunite with Aaron Rodgers? Well, Aaron took would. him for a great ride, he right? Did. Okay. Could could Aaron dredge it back up with a change of scenery? Could he just heave a sigh of relief getting out from under yeah. all the chaos in Green Bay yeah. and say, okay, watch this? Does he want the pressure skip of going to Cowboys I don't know. because he's supposed I don't to know. Now, you, you know do know. It's a great question. He's the missing piece. I mean, when Peyton Manning went to Denver, with all that talent, they said, okay, you're the missing piece. When Tom went to Tampa, they said, you because Bruce Aaron says, hey, we'd have made the playoff if our quarterback didn't turn it over 30-plus times. So now you, you, you does he want that pressure of being the missing piece to take this Cowboy team that you believe is talented enough, with the exception of the quarterback position, all the way home? I, I can't answer for him. I just know what he is and what he is not. And I do believe that great quarterbacks late in their career sometimes truly benefit from a huge change of scenery where, where suddenly you do have some new good pressure. Peyton was forced to go to Denver right. because he got forced out the back door right. in Indianapolis. And all of a sudden, he says, yeah, I'll do that. Well, how about Brady going to Tampa? Yes. Oh, he got forced out. Yes. And he says, okay, watch right. this. Right. Well, Aaron should be in the same caliber. He should be in the same echelon of one of those great older quarterbacks who says, okay, Watch this, because Dallas is not untalented. I think no, we can yeah, agree well, on yeah, that. There, there's a lot of talent yeah. left there. Yeah. And again, can they figure out how to get a little bit better? Maybe. If, can Tony Pollard, are they going to re-sign him? Will he bounce back 1,000% off a broken leg? Yeah, maybe. He should. Maybe. Right. I mean, okay. but it's not like an ACL or a Achilles no, injury. No, it's skill. not. But the, the, the thing that I want you to get, they say we are what we repeatedly do, therefore it's not a singular act. It's a yeah. habit. Yeah. What has Dak Prescott over the last seven years repeatedly did? Done. You, you, he's turned the ball over. Okay. okay. Yeah. For, for and, and a while, he up. was Fumbelina, and then he became Mr. Interception. And then okay. come playoff time, he's 2-4 and four in his six playoff starts. Yep. So come playoff time, he normally comes up really small. He all, and have they, it, There hadn't been very many playoff games in which he hasn't turned the ball over at least once. That, that is correct, but he'll give you a blip. He did yes. beat Russell Wilson in a home playoff yes. game, yes. and then he'll do that, and he'll do that, and he'll do that in the last two games against San Francisco. Shannon Sharp. Look at the torment I'm going through <laughs> over the last 24 hours. I had to watch the 49ers beat us twice and go on to the NFC Championship game with Jimmy G at quarterback and Brock, and Brock Purdy yeah. at quarterback. And I'm, I'm stuck with Dak Prescott? Because Are you kidding? That, so that, that should tell you everything you need to know. Whichever team gets the better quarterback play, that's normally the team that it makes. It is. It's just hard. Okay. To, it's just hard to overcome that. Okay. Teams, the way the league is set up now, Skip, the way you can throw the football and all the rules, it is just hard. You but pack your defense, you bring your run game, but at some point in time, they're going to force that guy to throw the football. And when they force him to throw it, is he going to throw it to his guys or your guys? Okay, it, you're you're so right. I, I'm I'm actually coming over to your side <laughs> of the table, and I'm saying. I threw Dak's jersey in the trash can on Sunday night for real. I mean, I mean, I was serious when I did it. I was like, angry. No, Skip, it's not the jersey. It's not it's, okay, it's but Dak. That, it's, it's an act. It's, it's, I, I I know, mean, it's, a, it's a symbolic act. I don't know if you've seen the memes, but they got a bunch of people dumping Dak in the trash can, the, okay. the actual Dak. All right. But well, anyway. I haven't seen it, but, but I, I'm there. I get it. I mean, so, no, I wish no harm on Dak, no, but I'm no, just no, saying. No, that, it's, it's, right. but let me, so, so are you – so let, let, let's get to the crooks of the, what we, the, the opening. Yes. Are you, do you have a problem with the tweet? 
I, I wonder if it can't, if Jerry signed off on it, if he blessed it. I do. Well, it was, even if he blessed it, it, you could still have a problem with it. Okay, well, it's just not the way business is done. No, so so I get it, except they have had a reputation for being fairly objective. I'm having a hard time getting all worked up about it because I, it, it's actually pretty tame to me. It's it's like a statement of duh. You fact. can't put the man pitch skip. up. You don't okay. normally put in a yeah. loss. You don't normally put your star. No. <laughs> it, 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 unless like that. that's the mood of the whole franchise right now. Well, I'm sure everybody's yeah. disappointed, but damn, everybody just disappointed, just disappointed in that. Yep, I think it boiled down to that unfairly or fairly. <laughs> I think I think you agree. It boiled down to just yeah. that. Well, so Aaron Rodgers, come on down. Now you want? Come on down. I don't even like Aaron Rodgers. Hey, man, but I'll you... take him over Dak Prescott. He's available. He I know he's he available. He don't want to play. He don't want to play with your team. He you, does. You, no, I, no, no, I no. think six, he would love being six in years, No, he's heard everything you said for about seven years. <laughs> I know. No, let me take that back. Not just seven years on this hey, show. Hey. Probably about seventeen years on the Way other show. Back. That is true. <laughs> that is true. But I'll take him over Dak. Doesn't that sum up my feelings? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You. Okay. You're in a really low place. I'm in a low place. Interestingly enough, guys, both Jerry Jones and his son, Stephen, nixed their radio interviews for this what? week. As much as Jerry like to talk? Yeah, nothing from Can't them. Can't take it. He, he, he's he's I guess way he, I guess last year he was disappointed. This uh -huh. year he's sick. He's hey. sick of being disappointed. That is correct. It's disappointed in being sick. Sick yep. thing is what he says. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.